Little Fox. Journey to the West, Chapter Four: Secret Formulas. When the other students went to bed that night, Wu Kong stayed awake. At three o'clock in the morning, he crept quietly through the dark temple. He entered Sabodi's room. Wu Kong, what are you doing here? Asked the sage. I understood your secret message, said the monkey. You hit me on the head three times. That meant you wanted me to visit you at three o'clock. Now, will you teach me how to live forever? Sabodi smiled. I knew you were a worthy student. Come closer. Sabodi whispered into Wu Kong's ear. The sage whispered prayers as well as secret formulas about the universe and nature. As the monkey listened to his teacher's words, powerful light filled the room. Now Wu Kong knew how to live forever. For the next few years, Wu Kong meditated and practiced the secret formulas. While the other students slept at night, Wu Kong stayed up. Soon, his mind and body were powerful, and he could change shape or size. He could turn into other animals and soar through the sky on clouds. One day, all the students were sitting outside. Wu Kong said, "One student, you have been busy lately." It's true," said another student. What have you been doing? I've been meditating and practicing secret formulas," said Wu Kong. "Secret formulas," said the first student. Everyone looked very interested. They leaned in closer to Wu Kong. "Yes," said the monkey. "Our master told them to me." "He did," said a student. "You must be special. He doesn't tell everyone those formulas. What did he teach you?" Wu Kong smiled. He taught me how to live forever. He also taught me how to change into other things. Show us what you can do," said the student. Wu Kong stood up. He muttered a quick spell and made a sign with his hands. Suddenly, zap! The monkey was gone. An enormous pine tree stood in his place. Wu Kong's voice came from the tree. What do you think? The students clapped and cheered. That's amazing," said one. "The monkey is truly powerful," said another. The noise disturbed Sabodi. He ran outside and saw the enormous pine tree. "What's going on out here?" he shouted. Everyone stopped cheering. Wu Kong quickly turned back into himself. Sabodi's eyes flashed with anger. Everyone but Wu Kong, go inside! He yelled. Sabodi waited for the other students to leave. I taught you the secret formula so you could live forever, said the sage. Not so you could show off. I'm sorry, said Wu Kong. I. Sabodi kept talking. Now all of the students have seen what you can do. They will want to know how to do it too. If you don't tell them, they might harm you. It's not safe for you to stay here anymore. You must go. Wu Kong started to cry. But master, where will I go? Go back home," said Sabodi. "But you taught me so many things," said the monkey. "I must repay you first." "You don't need to repay me," said Sabodi. "Just try to stay out of trouble." The sage looked at Wu Kong for a moment. Then he said, "I can see that you will do evil things someday. Don't tell anyone you are my student. Now go." Wu Kong hung his head. Goodbye, master. He leaped onto a cloud and left.
After a short journey, Wukong arrived at the Fruit and Flower Mountain. I have returned! He called. The gibbon ran to him. Your Majesty, something terrible has happened. 